First, let's start QGIS. We start QGIS Desktop 2.18. QGIS starts by allowing us to get some uh, tips. Under the Processing Toolbox, we can find the Rafael Toolbox, or OTB. It is a library for remote sensing image processing. Object Oriented Classification, OOC, is included in it. The OTB can be described as a plugin for QGIS to perform image analysis. For the object-oriented classification, we need to have the previously created training polygons that define the land cover classes that we hope to create, which are called also the objective classes. We need to create an image stack composed of the individual bands of Landsat 8 imagery downloaded previously from Earth Explorer. Select in Windows Explorer the first seven bands of the OLI sensor and just drag them to QGIS. Resize the layers panel if needed to see which one is which. Once the Landsat layers are added, double click any of them to access general information for it. Note the special reference information. In this case it's WGS 84 UTM zone 13 north. Okay. On the QGIS top menu, select raster, miscellaneous, and then build virtual raster canvas. Use the visible raster layers for input. Type your output file and select the special reference information. Click OK. Now check mark on separate and click OK to start the process. It should take just a few seconds. Now the new image, the virtual raster, is added into our camera. Select the individual bands and remove them from your Layers panel. Click OK. Double click on El Paso Landsat 8 image and click on Style. For a natural color approximation, choose for band red number 4, for the green number 3, for blue number 2. If you, you may want to select from the pull down menu, stretch to min, max, and click OK. We can click on those min, max values and select a cumulative count cut from 2 to 98%. Load those values and click OK. We expand as needed the processing toolbox to see the complete names of the different algorithms under segmentation. Expand image filtering algorithms also and discover the first step of an object oriented classification, that is, the exact large scale mean shift segmentation, step one, smoothing. This will smooth the image for us. Double click on it to start the dialog. Fill in the values as described here. Note that under Help, you can find the definitions of each parameter. Two important values to consider are the spatial radius, which is of the neighborhood in pixel units, and the range radius, which is the Euclidean radius expressed in radiometric units, that is digital values in the multispectral space. Both are defined here. 
facial art and ranger. Define your filter output and your special image output. Click OK to run. Notice that both outputs are added to the layers panel. And we need to notice also that the Paso filter is still a multiband image with the seven bands. Next, we need to convert the filter image to a one band object. Close the catalog for image filtering. This next step will produce a labeled image where the neighbor pixels will range distance is below the range radius and optionally the spatial distance below the spatial radius will be grouped together into the same cluster. Go to Processing Toolbox or Fail Toolbox Image Analysis Segmentation Exact Large Scale Mean Shift Segmentation Step 2 Double click on it. Select the filter image instead of the default image. Double click on the filter image. You see that under histogram, it is useful to know what our domain of values is. Uh, if we click on the histogram, we can see that the values go up to 30,000. This is helpful. We will set the range radius to 1500. We define the output image as a Paso segmented file.tif. We click Run and the new layer is added to the Layers panel. To display the segmented image properly, we switch from single gray to single band pseudo color. We try a maximum of 10 colors for now with equal interval. Uh, the mode is continuous and 10 classes. Step 3 is optional. It merges a small object which size in pixels is lower than the mean side parameter with the adjacent region that has close Euclidean volumetric distance and acceptable size. We define the minimum region size as 10 Click on the three dots and select Save to File to save the output image as a file name meaningful to you. In this example, we use the Paso Output3.tif. For a description of the fields, you can click on the Help tab. Click Run. The output El Paso Output3.tif is added to the Layers panel. Step 4 transform the raster image objects to polygon, vector objects. Each polygon contains additional fields, mean and variance of each channel from the input image in parameter, the segmentation image label and number of pixels in the polygon. Name the output GS vector file and paso segmented file.shapa and leave the size of files in pixels to the full values of 500. Click Run. We can change the symbology of El Paso Segmented 5 to make the segments more meaningful. Now, in green and transparent, we can see the polygons behind them. We can right-click on the Paso Segmented 5 and choose to open the Attribute table. Notice that now we have vector objects that have mean and variance statistics. That is for each of the seven bands in the input image. 